Thanks for staying with us. You're watching our continuous coverage of what is happening at this moment in the big American presidential elections. The Americans are out in big numbers. They're casting their ballots to elect their next president. The question, of course, is who has the edge in this presidential election that is going right down to the wire? The pollsters simply are not sticking their neck out and pointing out at any candidate. They're saying this is a neck and neck race. But is that really the case? We'll be getting you all of those updates, but first, let's take a quick look as to what is making headlines at this hour. The dizzying presidential contest between the Republican Donald Trump and the Democrat Kamala Harris is hurtling towards a pretty uncertain, or rather, a photo finish, as millions of Americans are lining up at the polling stations to choose between the two sharply different visions for the country. The U.S. Capitol Police arrest a man from the Capitol Visitor Center who smelled like fuel, reportedly had a torch and also a flare gun. He was immediately placed in handcuffs and he had a notebook. The man told the officers that he wanted to get to the Congress. The astronauts Butch Wilmore, Sunita Williams and Don Petty vote early for the presidential elections from not anywhere on planet Earth, but from the International Space Station. The NASA astronauts post a photograph of themselves on Instagram wearing the patriotic colored socks on the American presidential day. The beleaguered Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now fired his defence minister Yoav Gallant. He's appointed Israel Katz as the new defence minister. Now the Israelis, of course, continue with their attacks. They claim to have bombed what they describe as a Hezbollah weapons depot, not in Lebanon, but in a Syrian town along the Lebanese border. The Syrian state media reported that residential buildings were also bombed by the Israelis. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.